can be seen in the foreground and some more at the far end of the compartment. He is obviously a political agitator haranguing the rest about the rights of monkeys, though they're only paying casual attention to him. Trolleys are used to convey units to and from the more remote parts of the sampling line. The units are put on the ark in a position decided by the scientific officer and the meteorologist after studying the wind direction. The position can be finally adjusted later on by moving units, but this wasn't often necessary. We usually used an arc of little over half a radian and nearly always got a good hit. desirable to leave the animals the wrong way around to four microns diameter. Hoses were used for stanchions, hatches and other obstructions in the more important areas and large hoses for the main What you've just seen is a small video which shows you the village of Westwood and the tunnel entrance in beneath the village which goes into the side of the hill and Port and Down were doing biochemical experiments underground where they were testing pathogens and biological warfare agents uh, which were su supposedly fairly safe but they used to keep the uh, the guys doing the tests wearing hazard suits and face masks. However, the ventilation system for this underground uh, biowarfare lab actually fed through all of the tunnels and went up through air shafts and came out into the village. So all of the air that was being used in and around where they were building these uh, bio hazard viruses and whatnot were actually getting into that air system and were polluting and possibly infecting the people of the village. Nothing of this was known at the time and by current standards you would consider this to be crazy but this happened in the 1960s. Um, basically there's more you can look up about this called Operation Cauldron and the uh, germs which were made in this lab were not only tested in Scotland, they were actually sprayed from planes over villages in the United Kingdom and they were looking for what the effects of this uh, sort of would have on the general public. So they were looking at uh, people who were becoming ill, going to the hospital, going to their doctors and reporting symptoms and all of this information was gathered in secret. The public were never asked whether they wanted to be sprayed from aircraft, from trains. Um, none of that was disclosed to the public until much later on. 
And basically, this just kind of shows what sort of contempt sometimes the government can have towards the public in the way they conduct these experiments. So today, for the first time, we're going to see on video, we abseil down into the old part of the mine, uh, which is disused. There is a currently still used bit of the mine, which is used as a document uh, record storage facility. However, we won't be going in that part, uh, but there will be further videos in this series to actually show you when we've gone back in again and somebody we know did actually get into the document storage area as well. So we'll put that up there, but that's somebody else's video. So have a look, see what you think and uh, enjoy the rather fraught and uh, crazy abseil that we did that nearly resulted in us getting trapped in this uh, in this tunnel system. So hope you enjoy. I think Matty sent me a photo of one I ate before. Yeah, they're good. I mean, you can you can get the old ones for about 150, 200 quid second hand. Well, I'm not I'm not standing on it. You're right. If somebody cuts that, it's game over, isn't it? Yeah. Look how we are in the middle. All oh, right, you're going to dump. Won't be looking that white for very long, I'm sure. No, we don't. Where's the 50 meter? Uh, don't know. Says on the end of that actually, so what? Fifty meter. Yeah. Don't set your ropes up, are you? No. Yeah, this is this is what happens every time if you don't flare with your ropes up and set them up properly in time. Probably every time you drop them down everywhere, you just mm. come to a complete bundle. Mm-hmm. Meeting his slag. Maddie. Well, Jordan is being a mad bass, he's going to be the first one. First, first time done anything over for like 32 foot in that? Yeah, double foot. Mad bastard, come on out. There you go, now push yourself to your knees and again, stop fucking. Moment of truth, folks, like this. Good weight on the roof. You feel it in the harness? Yeah. Like you need to put your knees against that bar. And then lower your fucking ass lower than your feet, like that's all good with it. You went past the natural. Yeah, you've already fucked it, mate. 
Yeah, because you told me to stand there. No, I told you to put your knees against the bar. Good. Yeah? Good. Stop. But the knees are against the bar. Right, your device is touching. You need to get your knees against that bar. Or put your feet into the crevice and you to push yourself away. Alright, now push yourself away a little bit. There you go. Now we'll go to the, there you go. Just gently. Just so you get it past it. Alright, there you go. Now get your feet out like that. Get your brake in there. Mm. Mm. Stop, stop, stop. Alright, there. Get your rope the other side here. Put it over your feet. That's it. Now bend it so it's over, over that blue, blue, blue bar. Over the... You put, you put the tail end of your fucking rope bending forward, Sean, out the device. Look at your green grip. Bend it over the plate. That's it. Now keep it like that. Hand at your side. And gently release your hand as you go in there. Shit on the wall. Right. That's it. He's down there. He's all done. Right. Okay, got one more bag to get back in. I've done it arse backwards.
the lucky things or I'm trapped. Hang on. Over the edge. Oh no, no, you are down and lock it completely off so I can't get down. Hang on. Here we are, I'm off the edge now. Can you move it? Can I? Yeah. Upward. Oh no, is there any way past it? Is there any way past it? I could try lifting it back up. Uh, I could try, oh it's heavy. Fucking heavy mate. Should we do it later? No mate, I want to go to the morning and I'm going to fucking panic me. Well I'm going to have to stay up here for fucking ages. Well I'll come down and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the stairs out and bring Ash. Right. Oh, I can't believe that just fucking happened. Sorry. Fuck's sake. It's going to need two of us hanging and two of us pushing it up. Two of us are going to have to be up there to push up with our hand pressure, you know, like, whoa. What? No? Mate, it was pretty tight for me actually. No. Nobody I know would have the fucking balls to do it, mate. Yeah, they wouldn't stand on the edge where we were standing, mate. Huh? Ring him first. Let's let's see if he can do it. If he can't do it, let's think about second options. The second option is I go up there on the secondary room. 
Yeah. I think it's like a very rope technically pinched underneath it at the minute. <clears throat> and then try and slide it on top. It's not actually. It's not it's not pinched underneath. No, 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 what I mean, what I mean is with the secondary roof is what the on top of it. So what I'd have to do is go up on that one, fly off on my cold tails. They 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 are not, right? It's actually sitting like this. It's sitting up. Like that. Sitting up like that. Oh well folks, this is uh it's gonna be a fucking interesting one. got very real very quick Place is an estate, isn't it? Right, I think we're filming, folks. This place is a bloody nightmare. Look, I'll put this um, kettle where we gotta go back in. Look, that's where we gotta go back in. Kettle. Well, 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 Jesus, I've gone and fucked it up, I went down all right though, I was surprised I managed to get down, I was kind of stuck, the um, ascend, the descender was like jammed at the top, I think we need to. Well, we need to get, in this case, we need to get to the front door, see if we can get a mobile signal. Sorry? Ah, right, yeah, yeah. This blue thing in the middle for where we got to turn. Oh yeah, look, it's, it shows you an arrow as well, blue arrow. <laughs> oh shit, boys, it's got very real. It's going really real, very real, folks. And oh, we can't get out. Yeah, it works. It's all cars, don't you? Mm. Bloody hell. Fan room. I mean, you are absolutely certain we would not be able to get that front gate up mm. or go through that little hatch door they've got. The hatch door's completely locked, is it? Oh, folks, this is getting interesting then. It's the first one, and it's become a friggin' death mission. I 
Oh shit. Yeah, we is we is locked in. That's off. It's locked through here, isn't it? Yeah, it's locked. Supervised radiation area. Oh my god! It's only radon gas. People pay money to, to breathe radon gas. In Germany, they pay good money for this shit. Oh. We are officially fucked. We're fucked now. Oh! Oh! Shit, my bangy camera around like a stupid bang, bangy camera man. It's vents. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just seeing whether we can see this ladder, man. It goes off down here, mate. It's loads. Well, we're going to have to check every inch of this bloody place now to find the... Uh... Well, no, I know we've got to find the ladder, though. That's what I'm saying. We've got to check every inch because we don't want to miss it. Oh, look. So... Okay. No, 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 it's all right, but we, whilst... No, whilst we're walking and filming, we're looking for the ladder. When we find it, we'll be up it, and then it's uh, ring, ring, Mr. Ash. And the guards come and save the day. So there's an arrow on the wall saying exit lock. Goes off again down little rooms. I don't know whether they're important. Wow, it's just crisscross, isn't it?
in the ele electrics room. Yeah, we've gone a long way, haven't we? We'll have to we'll have to go and stand in the, um, the the shaft and try and work out which direction. The fucking portaloo. Mm -hmm. Cows. Cans. Ah. Well, that stuff then has been dropped in there. He's going in to have a look to see if he can work out which which room's which. But oh my god! Well, I mean, I think it's just a case of two people are going to have to go up on the ropes and push that bastard thing back up. But. Mm. This is Jordan, folks. Not not uh, B face computing. Another Jordan. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, okay. Lovely. Yeah. Just what we want on a Monday evening. Right, yeah, it's not massive. It's not, you know, the biggest place in the world down here. So I think we we could just keep looking. Yeah, it's a case of where and if we go up the ladder because somebody lets us out if we do that then we're out yeah. so all we have to do is collect our ropes and that'll be no problem yeah Can't, he can't go nowhere out there, it's one way only, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Are you alright? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you, are you coming back into this bit though? 
she's going to just try and climb up straight away. You're just going to try and climb up here. Okay, no worries. Right then, folks, we're going to help get up and out, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, take a little walk, like you know. Um, oh, no, not 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 tonight, though. I don't guess because I think we've probably blown ourselves out. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, gee, oh. No. <laughs> Fucking get through here, you bastard. <laughs> My leg. Fuck you. Right. Oh, what is that? It's wood. Oh, are you alright, mate? Fucking hell, that is fucking bullshit. Take your time, take your time. Thank you. 